What am I looking at over here? Today we gathered here because the Ramban says that between Pesach and Shavuos is one long holiday. It's one Chalamoy. So Kalvachamu, between Pesach Rishon and Pesach Sheni, it's still Pesach. This is like Chalamoy Pesach. So we're having a special feminist Flatbush Mama say the Lekovid, the candidacy of Flatbush Mama. You know, all these feminists and weirdos now, they have all kinds of different Siddharim. You know, they, they make their own Seder plates. They take two Feglach, two birds, and if they want to have a Mishka of Zoha Seder, they do two Feglach on the Seder plate. So we have an extensive Seder plate here, Lekovid Flatbush Mama. Okay? One thing is we have the cucumbers. The cucumbers are a simon that she doesn't want to be encumbered with all the different types of restrictions of Yiddishkeit in dress, in attitude, and who you're supposed to fraternize with and who you're not. So that's the cucumbers. That's the covered her, okay? Then we have the orange. When she says to herself and her husband, her children, and her su silly acolytes, orange, there's an orange. Orange glaze, you don't have to follow all of these restrictions. You can make up your own Yiddish kite. And you mean Kerev, Kerev. So you're allowed to do whatever you want. So that's the orange. Okay? Then we have here the matzah. The matzah is because she desperately wants the matzah to rule supreme because the matzah is on leaven. And if there's one thing she can't stand, is that leaven has been focusing on her since the summer and telling people what she's all about. What she doesn't understand is the matzah, it's yachatz. You can break up leaven, the unleavened, you can break them up, but the more you break, it's all still here. It's going to remain here. Okay? Then we have the pepper, because she's never a dull moment. She's always peppering us with new apicursus sticker things, new ways of, of, of being mice around people, going about restaurants, the human rights commissions, etc. Okay? And this is the apple, because now she's appealing to everybody, please, I'm doing tshuva. Rekshimi Gifta, she just interviewed, you just interviewed her, and she says, I'm maturing every day. I'm a new person. It's Kira. You have to understand. So she's appealing. So we have an apple for her, okay? Then we have eggs. The eggs on the Seder plate have a profound significance, but for her, it's something else. She's just egging everybody on. You know, support me, join me, understand me, etc., etc. It's all about her. You understand? She doesn't understand it's going to be smashed eggs. It's going to be. What can I tell you? Then we have the reason behind this whole thing. The reason behind this thing is the almighty dollar. She does everything, she'll sell her Yiddishkeit, she'll run around, even with an anti-Semite like Linda Sessor, until Linda Sessor doesn't want to take a picture with her. Oh, you don't want to take a picture with me, you're an anti-Semite, I'm going to... Everything she switches around, so it's all about the almighty buck, okay? You understand, she's giving away $75,000 if she gets in. You don't understand what it's going to do on her resume and the amount of monies that she's going to be able to charge, or her husband will charge, will then officially run the organization for advertisements, will go up quantifiably. So Michael Thomas is $75,000. By the way, Flatbush Mama, why don't you take the $75,000 or a lot less? Put your kids into yeshiva. You great defender, fighter of Yafa, defender of yeshivas, who you told, a homosexual activist, who told me that you told him, I send my children to yeshivas. No, then the yeshivas will control me. I send them to charter schools. So first, before you become the defender of yeshivas, do us all a favor. Send these poor Yiddish kinder to yeshiva instead of charter school. If you need, let this be the first dollar donation for Flatbush Mama and Shas, Shash, uh, Shas as opposed to Shashitsky. Some, are you embarrassed of your name? The name was Shashitsky. It's a holy name. It's associated with Doris and associated with Chaim Berlin. Why did you change it to Shashitsky? So speaking about Shash and Shashitsky, what we have over here on our Seder plate, extended feminist Seder plate, is we have a dress. Because now that she's dressing, what's sneerstick because she's running for office, so we have to give her, see, we can still give her a nice Adela dress, but it covers everything and it's not too tight, etc. And we even have a matching sash in case she decides to change her name back to Shashitsky, like it is, okay? And then in case she gets Where did you get from, that from, on Amazon? Pardon? Because she really, really, what she really gets from... This is called a shawl. She might decide that she wants to go to the opposite extreme and she wants to cover herself like the ladies, you know, the Berkeley ladies with a shawl, so we have a shawl for her, okay? Now, you, you know, until now, like when she made a, uh, a thing about me with her parents, so she was, her, her sleeves were up to here and she was wearing her own hair and she's giving us musa about Lashon Hara and this and that and railing against the patriarchy that many rabbinic Judaism, our strictures and structures are all 
are all patriarchy. You understand? It's a very denigrating term. But now she's become very firm. She's very demure. She's idle. She's chaste. So even if she loses, we have to hope she continues. She might get so darn firm, she won't even want to wear a shaitl. So we have here a chasidic kashketl hat to cover her hair in case she should ever decide again, okay? Now, over here, we have, um, we have this is a big segula. We have here some powder. Because Lamaisa, we have to be mispalta kodesh baruchu, that when it comes to this election, she takes a powder. And maybe if the two losses, she'll disappear, but you can never tell. So in case she stays around, we have a boim neighbor summoned because it's a terrible reyach that she creates, a reyach of a znus, of preachers, of hefkeiras, and to stink process, we have to make a boim neighbor summoned. Then we have something else. We have this, we have a set of gloves. Because we want to tell you, we want to tell her something. Miss Miles Shashitsky, or whatever you're going to reinvent yourself as, when it comes to Claudia's soul, when it comes to people, we're not all your fools and the visa, you can't lay a glove on us. So here, here, use these gloves, okay? Now this is a Havdalah candle because we shouldn't be taken in by her latest reinvention. So we have to continue to make Havdalah. We have to light a fire and make a Havdalah. And then we have to tell her the whole thing that she's so excited when she talked to you in the interviews. I'm not a celebrity, but I'm a celebrity. I'm not quite a leader, but I'm a leader. All of these fantasia, she needs, this is why we have a couch here. I'm not doing this at a table. But she really needs a therapist, a good couch. She can come, we have an extra couch here. She can pick up a couch for therapy. How much do you charge? So do it for, no, I wouldn't give her therapy. I wouldn't give her therapy. Well, we'll collect, we'll collect some more money. She could use this for the therapy, if not for the tuition. You understand? So then we have candles, because she should understand that her erzatz Yiddishkeit you know, it's so full of holes. It's like the cheeseburger that she makes chayzik with the girl who's eating the cheeseburger. She makes chayzik of the off the girl who's eating a cheeseburger. I haven't tasted it yet. How does it taste? Is it good? So we want to know, you can't, with all of your erzats, cobbled together, you can't, you can't light a candle. You can't hold a candle to real Yiddishkeit. Okay? And now we're going to get on with the Seder. Okay? So we want to sing. The first thing we want to do in the Seder is we want to sing, please, we want to sing Nayenu for Flatbush Mama. So please, Rabbi Sai, in the background, you can all sing along on your radios or on the YouTubes or wherever you see this. If you would only have changed your name from Shashitsky to Husash Dayenu, Dayenu. If you would only embarrass your Zaydis to Tzadik and Miles and Adler, Dayenu. Hey, if you would only run around with the Prince Vestite Abby Stein, Dayenu. Hey, if you would only wear tight preacher's clothing and people would comment on your tweets on your body parts, Dayenu. If you only wouldn't cover your hair, Probably most of us wouldn't care, die no. If you'd only be he a Moseris regarding the lesbians' New Year's party, to the governor, government officials you tweeted, and maybe to the Human Rights Commission, die no. If you didn't only tell our kids they should dialogue with LGBT and all of the Derek miscreants, die no. If you would only rail against the patriarchy, which is rabbinic Judaism, our rabbanim, our Torah values, die, no. If you would only try to kiss up to Sassur, the anti-Semite can take a picture with her, which she didn't want to take a picture with you, you'd start to use her in your advertisements as an anti-Semite, die, no. Everybody together, die, die, no. Wonderful Flatbush Mama. Trying to corrupt our uh, children and our community. Now we go to the next step. Okay, we want to say, Kama my list toy voice, Kama my list toy voice, or I should say in this case, Kama my list Royce. She changed her name from Shishitsky to Sash. She's miles away from the Jewish community. Her name is Adina, but she's anything but edel and gentle. She embarrasses her Zaydis, Miles, and Adler. She runs around with her transvestite, Abby Stein. She wears tight preacher sticker clothing and puts on her shaitl and takes it off at will. She's a Moiseres and everything is about her. Mylin, Marine Veloy, Mylin. She leaves her kids out of yeshiva, so yeshiva shouldn't control her. And now she's the big defender of the yeshivas. She makes jokes and lits on us about off the of children eating kosher burgers. She tells our kids to dialogue with the lesbians and gay and, and, and alish mutziakin. 
and we need to beg Hashem she should do tshuva lecha bracha toiseinu. And now with my pristine, my apologies to Yonason Rezel and to Yaakov Shreti, what we have to do it is the Pesach Seder, the feminist Seder for Flatbush Mama. So our adaptation, adaptation of Vihisha Amda. Vihisha Amda, Neged Ava Yiseinu. Flatbush Mama is Neged Ava Yiseinu, our Torah Velohanu. Shalai Pam Echad Gilvad Amda Aleinu Lechala Yiseinu. So many times she made a Chilal Hashem for our fellow Jews. The Hakodesh Baruch Hu Matzileinu, Matzileinu, Mihi Yehuda. Hakodesh Baruch Hu saved us from her devious plans, from her devious plans to throw us all under the bus. Hakodesh Baruch Hu saved us. From her devious plans to throw us all under the bus and to be the district leader over us. HaKadosh Baruch Hu saves us. She sends her kids to charter schools. Then she's a big fighter for the yeshivas. She takes you and me and all of us for fools. Da 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 da. Moving rapidly along as we can conclude our Seder, my Rabbi Sai. We have, of course, the wine of the Seder. But the wine takes on a different significance because, you know, if you look carefully at her videos and you hear her eyes and her actions and she gets emotional and she plays and she's busy whining. She is a, an unsatisfied person, unsatisfied with her persona. She's constantly changing it. Unsatisfied with her Yiddishkeit, her method of dress. She's a very unsatisfied person. So we would hope that she stops whining and we pour the Koichel Brocha and we want to expunge from her. We're going to do a little bit of an expunging we are going to do what uh, some of the priests do when they get rid of uh, the, uh, the evil demons. So we're going to do the makas. Dom, she thinks we're all dom. Tifadeya, she's hopping around with all the lesbians and all the, all the schmutziaks. Kinem, now she might have lice in her hair because she's going to be putting on a shetel. Orov, she runs around and she acts like a chaya. Dever, she's a big pest and she's doing a lot of pestilence. Shrin, she boils over with anger as she curses out the Rabbonim and our Yiddishkeit. Borod, she's all hale and hearty fellow with all of the lowlifes, but really it's terrible what she's doing with our community. Choyshech, she sits in the darkness and we have to give her a candle that she should come into the light, let her tshuva be, maybe Rabbi Kamenetsky could bring her back to tshuva. Makas, Bechoyrois, from the very first, from the very beginning, she's been a big Maka, but it's never too late for her to return. So thank you very, very much for uh, participating in this special uh, Seder, Lakot Flat Bishmama. Now I'll be happy to answer some questions for you. If you have any questions specifically about her, I'll be happy to answer them for you. Okay, I'm going to pause while you're getting undressed there. <laughs>